Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got Polished for Days from the Land of Oz. I'm going to start this manicure off with Nautique's Formula 2. That's my favorite base coat, unless I'm using a peel-off. Um, this one really helps my nails. You know, I have a lot of peeling and splitting problems, and this is what works for me. So, here we go. I'm going to start off with this Polished for Days. Of course, you guys know it's not just going to be a manicure. And that's from the Land of Oz. I picked this up from the Polish Pickup in March. It just arrived a little while ago, um, and I just could not wait to use it. It is just so fairy-like. It is purple, it is blue, it is green. It is crazy pretty. And that is the first coat. And considering how much it's got going on in it, it really does go on well. Bless you, Cotton. He's in here getting excited. So here's the second coat of From the Land of Oz. And you can see I've kind of got like a flaky or something sticking off the end there. I, I will fix that. Here we go. Woody's going to help me. Kind of flip it up and then just kind of tap it down into the polish. And it still looks a little wonky, but it'll, it'll be okay after we top coat it. Is that not the craziest polish you've ever seen? I'm going to top this one with some Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat, and I'm going to get it to dry down so that I can do some stamping. I don't have any Wizard of Oz plates, so um, the name of the polish is, is pretty much it. <laughs> I, um, I'm just going to put something else on it that I, I thought would look pretty. I'm being sure to cap my ends there. This polish, I'm telling you, it just blows me away. I'm going to be stamping with NS01. It's the Nicole Dowry White Stampin' Polish. And using the Beauty Big Bang number 16, my Big Clear Stamper from Born Pretty, and my Clear Jelly Scraper. And I'm going to put this single flower on, uh, let me see, it's on my pinky, my middle, and my pointer. So, we're going to do two accent nails, I guess. I guess when you stamp them all like this, though, really, honey, they all turn into accent nails. You know. And I'm good with that. I like that. You guys know I can't just behave and do one. Okay, that one didn't stick just perfectly, so I have applied some yellow stopper to the rest of my nails to make sure that those fine lines don't try to fly up off the nail. Because sometimes that happens little fine lines man they, they get tricky and I'm trying to line these up kind of in the center but I'm not too worried about them being just perfectly centered that's you know that's not how I'm doing this one I just wanted some of that beautiful base polish to shine through now I'm going to use the same image but in the multiple full full fledged image on my ring finger and that's the one I also used on my thumb it's more of a full nail design and I am cleaning that stamper off on my, you know, sticky lint roller and cleaning that plate off with pure acetone and a cotton ball using my handy dandy cotton cloth. And here we go with our last stamp for this one. Stamp and plate will stay still. <laughs> and I do use a piece of tape to get any excess up, you know, that I don't want stamped on my fingers or on my nails. So haven't ever seen me do that before, I'd be totally surprised because I do it all the time. So there we go. We got that last one plopped down. Ta-da! And I am going in with a little piece of tape because I'm a tape junkie also and getting up as much of that excess stamping polish off of my fingers and around my cuticles as I can. It just kind of cuts down on me smearing white polish all over. So I'm going in with my Sonia Kushex cleanup brush some acetone and just tidying this up before I do top coat and today we'll be top coating the final mini with posh top coat it's my favorite it's really thick and I'm able to really glide that top coat over the top and not smear my stamping design so you know that's why we do that and I know you can see that blue green flash and that polish it's just wicked cool so there you go I hope you enjoyed this, Manny. I would love to hear a comment from you. So leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about this one. And that is it for today. Thanks for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.